come on in, y'all come on in. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. What's going on? Y'all speak to me, y'all come on in. What's going on, everybody? What's up, bro? What's going on? I see y'all. I see y'all. I see everybody coming in. What's going on? What's going on? Happy Saturday. Welcome to Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt. With your boy Nolan Pruitt on Saturday. On a good Saturday. Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt. I'm just excited. Hello, Miss D. Nichelle99. What's going on, lady? Welcome to Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt. Of course. You know, you know, for people who watch Real Talk, we do Thursdays, but I had to come on a Saturday uh, afternoon just to, um, for this special person, this special lady. So we get ready to have fun. We get to have a great discussion. We get ready to have, uh, do some giveaways. We get ready to do it all. You're watching Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, the boy. What's going on? What's going on? I see everybody coming in. Come on in. Tag somebody. I don't know if you can tag somebody on Instagram, but let somebody know you're watching Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt on a Saturday. Uh-oh, okay. I know it has to be special for your boy to come on a Saturday. I'm going to give you a couple more minutes. We're going to do a giveaway. I got I got the Clark sister prodigy, the uh, the amazing. She's funny. Uh, she's, she's loving. Um, she's crazy, but I love her. Uh, she's my friend from afar, and I got her here, the businesswoman, the, the entrepreneur. She's in the building. Miss Angel Chisholm is getting ready to come on and talk with me. Give us 20 to 30 minutes of your time because this conversation is going to be bananas. Hashtag bananas. Y'all like my little, I, I put this on just for her. All right, y'all come on in. Y'all come on in. Y'all come on in. We're getting ready to start. I'm not going to keep you too long. Happy Saturday. It's another day, just another day that the Lord has kept us. All right. All right, got my song playing in the back. If you have not written got I Belong to You by Nolan Pruitt, go purchase it, go download it. It's my new single. It's my new single, I Belong to You, available on all digital outlets by Nolan Pruitt. All right, all right, we get ready to get this started. What's up, everybody? The person, let me tell you, the one of the giveaways that we're doing this morning, the most person that talks, I feel like we in church, the most person that talks to the preacher on this Saturday morning, we're going to give a, a, um, a good cash out to, okay? So uh, we're watching. Angel's going to be watching. I'm going to be watching. And then some, my team is going to be watching too. So the more y'all make comments, the more y'all show love, man. I'm going to send you something. I'm going to bless you with a little lunch today, okay? Wouldn't it be dope? All right. We're getting ready to bring on Nolan and my friend. I've introduced her, but let me introduce her again. You're watching Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt. We rarely come to Instagram, but you guys are showing us love right now already on Instagram. Um, but this video, of course, this, this tape, this particular interview will be on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Real Talk with Nolan Pruitt. That's R-E-E-L, like a movie reel. Real Talk with Nolan Pruitt, and you can catch all of my interviews. I just got back from Philadelphia with my boy Vincent Bohannon. Um, I just interviewed, I was just with James Hall, Patrick Riddick. Um, your boy's doing things. I got an EP coming out. Got a lot of stuff happening. But tonight, or t this morning, see, I'm already churchy. This morning, it's not about me. It's about my homie, and I'm getting ready to bring her in. We're giving her time because she's backstage right now. We're giving you time to come on in. I see y'all. Hey, it's, Ju it's Juicy Juice. I see everybody. I see y'all talking. Hey, tech, the Techie Network is in the building. That's who I was looking for. Y'all in the building. Y'all make some noise. Y'all rep, y'all rep, uh, you, you guys' organization because we talk. It's, it's your morning. It's takeover. The Techies have taken over. I belong to you. What's up? The Music Report card is in the building. Shout out to that beautiful and wonderful, um, that blog station. All right, we get ready get, we get ready to get it cracking. She's ready to come on. I want you to show her love. We're going to do a question period. I want you to ask her questions. We may even sing for you. You watch your Real Talk with your boy, Nolan Pruitt. And we're bringing on the one, the only, Miss Angel Chisholm. Y'all go cop that I belong to you. Get y'all some of that. Get y'all some of that. Hey. I see these comments. I love it. I love it. We're watching. Ooh, we're look. taking over everything. Y'all are taking over just, just this morning. <laughs> this I'm giving it to y'all. I love you guys. Hey, uh oh, you still we got a support. We got a support. I can't see you. No, Lynn. There you are. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's going on, lady? What's up? Hey, listen, I see I you with your corduroy on. and your hat with your nice brown. 
Look, okay. I got my I got my God shirt on for you. I mean, well, thank you. Oh, praise God. I did it for you. What's going on? How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking time out of your Saturday because I know Thursday is usually your day, but I appreciate you for for getting me in here. I appreciate it. But listen, I told Angel, I told the people that Saturday is the tech. The techies are taking over Saturday morning with Real Talk. Techies take over. It's a techie take over. Listen, I got my girl, Miss Angel Chisholm in the building. If you first of all, if you do not know her, I don't know where you've been, but of course we're going to school you. But uh, before the obvious, she's an amazing musician. She's a uh, has musical background. She's a, a a presence on Instagram. She's a leading lady in our generation. But of course, if you do not know her, her mother is that one of them singing sisters of the Clark sisters. Um, you know what's so funny, Angel? I've interviewed your mom. I've had relationships with your aunt Dorinda, mm -hmm. and then of course I have you. There you go. If I can just get Aunt Karen and Aunt Twinkie, I'm in there. Oh, and I've talked, and I've, I've even interviewed your Aunt Denise. Isn't that funny? Really? <laughs> Go on my page. There's a flyer. We did a show. What's so funny, Angel? We did a show together that did not save. I it did not save, so I couldn't post it. It was erased. Uh uh, but we did a show together. Uh, if you ever go to my Instagram page, just keep scrolling down. You'll see the flyer. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. But now I have Miss Angel is in the yes. building. Before, mm -hmm. listen, before we get into it, people don't know that you are actually musically that girl, that lady. Okay. Uh, and I think um, you have, because when I watch you and I, I follow your page, you may have some uh, schooling in music. Tell us a little bit about your musical background um, before we get into the heavy stuff. Just a little bit about your musical background. Okay. Well, of course, I was born into gospel music, so For that sure. was that was in me from the very beginning. For but sure. I classically trained. For sure, yeah. I I wanted to. I actually, honest to God, wanted to be a classical singer. I wanted to sing. I wanted to sing in an opera house in Italy. That was my goal. Wow, Angel. <laughs> Yes, that was what I wanted to do. That was that was where I was headed. I just knew I was going there. But let me, uh, let me ask you briefly: What is one of your uh, your is it aria? Am I pronouncing that right? Mm -hmm. What is one of your your pieces that you remember that you just really loved uh, uh, classically? About being Ocado. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that used to be my favorite song to sing. Like, if you wanted me to sing anywhere, I was gonna sing that song. Right, right. And I, it was funny because. Um, it used to be my dad's favorite song. Oh. It was his favorite song to hear me sing. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to sing for his funeral. And uh, mama was like, well, if you're going to do it, or my brother, my brother, rather, my brother mm -hmm. was like, well, you should do something classical. And I was like, well, daddy's favorite song is Omeo Bobby. And I was like, I can't sing that. And he's like, well, why not? And I'm like, because in English, it translates, the story is the girl is talking to her father who is dying, mm -hmm. telling him that she wants to marry somebody. And if he doesn't give her blessing, she's going to commit suicide. Oh. So I, I'm not singing that at my dad's funeral. Because people are so crazy, <laughs> they would have looked at the room. Looked it up. <laughs> and it would have been like, that's not what this, that's not what the attention was. Oh, no, <laughs> so... Was no, no, I'm, ain't no, ain't no man. Just for our viewers, ain't no man got angel about to do no crazy stuff. All right, absolutely. the Lord, <laughs> but that's beautiful. So, so you, you started in classical music, of course. Um, now, do you have any relation, in, or am I getting the wrong angel with Berkeley uh, School yeah, of Music? That's, okay, talk just a little bit about that. That's what happened next. I uh, went to Berkeley College of Music for a brief moment. Shout out to my Berkeley folks that are. That might be in the comments. I don't know who's all who's all up and, and out and, and paying attention right now. Listen. But um I was at Berkeley for a little bit. I didn't finish, but mm -hmm. I figure, you know, it ain't going to as long as I owe the money, they ain't going nowhere. So, you know, <laughs> I can finish when I get some more money. I ran out of money for them. They're really expensive. But yes, yes. I to Berkeley. Um, my my experiences there were well worth it, and I I loved every minute of it, and I can't wait to be able to go back and finish my degree. So you know, yeah. let's let you. Know.
It is what it is. I love it. So she is an educated, and let me say something. Let me tell you, and let's just shout out. And Oh, Angel, let me say this quickly. You're watching Real Talk for the ones who are coming in. You're watching Real Talk with your boy, Nolan Pruitt. I got my sister, my friend, uh, Miss Angel Chisel with me. Of course, we're on Instagram. Of course, it's a Saturday. We're doing it. We're switching it up because the techies, it's a techie takeover. And you can hashtag if you're a part of this organization. And even if you want to be a part of our organization, we're going to give you this information. Because I'm telling you, He's kept us here for a reason. Yes. And the reason I believe, one of the reasons is you got to get to work. You got to get to whatever he's put in your hands. Yes. You need to be working, working, work while it's day. Because uh, night coming with no man. Okay. I, I got I to gotta stop that. Because, stop see, stop. <laughs> if I do that, let me do this. She's probably going to bomb me out after this. But we're having fun. Real Talk Angel is, I tell everybody, Real Talk is a show where two friends are really having a conversation and we're just letting the world in. Okay. So there is no structure of things, but we're, but we're going to get to the tech of it. But if I do this, I'm doing the right key. <clears throat> is my living in vain? Oh, what are you going to say? Is my giving in vain? Yeah! <laughs> you got your little taste for free. <laughs> just for free right just for free listen then we got to get into so of course the music background but now you are transitioning into a business uh, uh a mogul business woman but before we get into that i've heard you speak about your father we got to give a shout out to your your great mr glenn mr glenn mm -hmm. chisholm tell us just some fun memories about uh your dad there's some things that you can share. My dad, yeah, uh, my dad's the greatest dude. He was the greatest dude on the planet. Like, I, I honestly don't know how any other man is going to measure up. It's really a, a very hard situation. Being, but my, my dad was um, always really proud to hear me sing. Like, that uh -oh. was, I knew, like, if nobody else loved my singing my dad loved my singing when i didn't like how i sounded wow my dad loved how i sounded wow. he was always um on me about you know keeping it going you know yeah. even i got when i got discouraged about stuff or when i felt like you know well i mean it it, it doesn't matter right? ain't nobody paying attention to me mm. he's like well i'm i'm paying attention so right. do it for me then, you know, if right. you got one audience member, you can keep it going. Wow. You know? um, and my, my dad was a very, um, he was a very hard worker. He is, um, people don't know, he he has four Emmys um, from his work. In pa wait a minute, pause for a cause. <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> No, hold on. We want. Do you hear what she just said? Real talk. Is you at the building? Four yeah. Emmys. Four. He is an Emmy Award winning graphic designer. Yes. So, but people. So now that makes sense. People, because I, of my journal, my journalist is coming mm -hmm. out. I put the mm -hmm. singer in the back because I'm talking to myself. Now, my, people don't know that. Of course, he was the one who started to do the Clark sisters first, like maybe the pictures, the cover photos, yes. all that stuff, right? Yes. Wow. He did all of their cover art for the first few records that they did. Wow. He, did he was their photographer and he was their designer. He designed, you know, the logo for the AIM convention that the Church of God in Christ uses? Yeah. He designed that. My father designed that and they, they still use it. You know. Um, this is why we have to, we have to speak about these things to give your, your, your father was the man. Your father yeah. was the man. One, one more fun. Give me a funny story and we're moving on. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this strategically, uh, because a lot of times we get caught up, you know, in other talking about other things, which is the norm. But mm -hmm. if you really want to get to know somebody and that's what real talk is about, you know, we have to we have to discover some things about that we may not ask about a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, to really get to know the person. So this one more one more fun uh, uh, story. about oh, your father. Okay. So one thing. My dad never wanted to hurt my feelings. He never liked hurting my feelings. So, you know, he was very, very careful about what he said. Daddy's girl. <laughs> so when I was learning how to cook and I was experimenting with stuff, I would always let my dad taste it because my mom is a very picky eater. Uh -huh. So 
whether it was good or not, if it was something she didn't eat, she would say it was nasty. So I was like, <laughs> my dad, I was like, my dad, you so I, um, no matter what I did to it, he would tell me what was wrong, but he would always tell me it was good. So one time I burned something up, like it was some mushrooms and tomatoes and I burnt them to a crisp. And instead of, <laughs> instead of throwing them away, I put them all, uh, I was making like a little sandwich. I was experimenting. So yeah. I put put the thing together and I was like, daddy, taste this. And he takes a bite and he's like, and I could tell he was struggling with it. And I knew, I knew what was wrong. But he goes, he like choked it down. <laughs> he goes, it's good. He was like, it tastes a little burnt, but it's good. I was like, daddy. <laughs> a little burnt now. <laughs> That that's so, what my dad would call succotash. You just put right. together some stuff, but that's what's up. Yeah, he would never want me to feel bad about whatever I was doing. He never wanted me to feel bad about it. So he would always be like, "Oh no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Like, it's like yeah. no, I spit it out. Right, right, right. <laughs> Daddy's it's the, it's that daddy. I'm telling you, my dad rides for me. My daddy, my daddy rides for me, but something about my sister mm -hmm. is just something about them dads. Shout out to the fathers who are who are just matter of fact who are just stepping up to be fathers. Let's can, can we commend them, Angel? Yes, for sure. Because uh, your brother, of course, your brother is an amazing father. Yes, he is. Yes, um, and I, I see you guys I, post. Go ahead. Uh huh. Are obsessed with him. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like okay, he yeah, had all that, but. <laughs> First of all, we got to have a friend moment. Your one niece, uh, Aunt Jackie, of course, we all call her Aunt Jackie. And shout out to her. Tell her I said I love her and whatever. Uh, your, one, uh, your one niece, when she posts the word of the day, mm -hmm. your one niece is in soprano in the power. She's in the Raptors. She, the word of the day. <laughs> I'm like, why do you have to scream it? Like, Why are you giving us? But I mean, it's good. It's and good here. She comes back with <laughs> <laughs> after she knows she killed her part. She, oh, absolutely. She knows, and she's ready to come back in when you're done doing with whatever it is you're doing. Oh my goodness! She's the star of the show. That's my little. That's my little Tay Tay bug. She's so. She is the best ever. She oh really wow! Is, so is aren't you good? I, I promise you guys, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. We just having a conversation because we're really here for her organization. We're really here for her business, and we want to get. Now, first of all, no. Let me save that question. Let me say that because I got a little offended. Uh -oh, okay. Because I thought it was just for women only, but we're talking about that. Save that. Put a pin in that. Okay. I was okay. like, dang, I was like, I want to try out. Oh, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is it not, it's not for me? Right. It's the beard, it's the beard thing. But no, so um, let's get into, of course, auntie hood. Um, what is, what is a couple things, not, well, let's do one or two. What is a couple things about Angel that people may not really know that you can share publicly? But of course, what is a couple things that about you that you really want to, people to really know? Um, I am a people person. Like, you can see it, you can tell, but, like, I get so many people that be like, oh, I saw you at Walmart, and I was scared. And it's like, just, I love talking to people. Like, come say hi to me. Usually, I'm the baby. Usually, people are sending me in the corner somewhere. I'm like, go, go find something to do. <laughs> okay. I love I love interacting with people. I love to talk to people. You know, it's like I I like I don't mind. Like, come on, say hi. You're not bothering me. Yeah. You think it's that Detroit thing? Because I went to school with a lot of Detroit people, but they're so nice. I know. You know, I, like they're really nice. It's weird because when I tell people, I I was when I was living in Boston, and I would tell people I was from Detroit, they would immediately be like, oh. <laughs> And it's like, what? What did I do that needed, you know, like this response <laughs> that needed you to be like, well, like, right. hey, don't shoot, like, what? What did I do? We we was just having a conversation, and before I said Detroit, you thought I was from Alabama, so I don't understand now why you See know how they switch up on you. Yeah, they do. 
They do. Um, another thing is, um, I don't know. I think I'm pretty open. I think I'm pretty open. Mm -hmm. I think everybody knows about me. I'm not as controlling as people think I am. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Angel. Oh, she's yeah. talking real talk. I have a personality and I, you know, but I'm not, I don't have to be in control of every situation. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a big personality and I, I can talk loud and I can, you know, I can, I can check, you know, watch your mouth, right. but, but I'm not a controlling person. You mm -hmm. know, I'm very much for the team. I'm very easy going. I'm very much like, Hey, you know, okay, well, what do we need to do to make it work? Yeah. Like, I'm a fill in the blank person and that can come off as control because if you take on all the things that nobody else is doing, it can look like you don't, you got to be in control of the situation, but it's really because nobody else is doing it. I'm willing to do it. That's, that's usually what happens. That's a really big misconception. Like you just got to have control of everything. It's like, I really do not. If someone else, would do it then and my thing is if you're gonna take it from me be qualified to to do what you're gonna take from me you know what i'm saying be be able to do it otherwise yeah i'm gonna take it back because now you're messing it up you know it keeps it's just some things you know i, I realize an angel a lot of things that are common sense are not really common to a lot of people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's so funny you and the holy we got the holy ghost because you so it's so funny because I just had this conversation um with my good friend uh and and um he was discussing that um the same thing you literally just said, like it's not that I'm controlling, it's just that I see the blanks. Mm -hmm. Nobody else acts like they see the missing blanks. So when I do it, it's considered to be like the controlling air. But it's not so much that. And it's so funny that you just broke that thing down so eloquently. That's good. I love yeah. that. I love that. We're getting into uh, relationships right quick. And then we're oh. going to get into leadership. And then we're going to talk about, we're going to finish it with this business. Okay. Unless you got an album that we got to push. You got an album oh. out you're pushing. Hey, no. Angel, I need you to come right for me. Okay. Angel, have you heard my new single, I Belong to You? I did. I did, did. You, what did you think about it? Tell me, tell me live and on air. I think you sound amazing. Oh, that's nice. I think, I think you sound so great. And I'm I and I want to hear more. I okay. need to hear I need to hear some more from Mr. Roland. Yeah. Okay. It's right. coming. That EP's coming. Listen, if you can get Angel to write anything on on anything, uh touch your neighbor and say it's gonna be golden. Somebody was tapping this golden pen. I say golden keep, they, they my the techies gave me that nickname. They gave me that nickname, Golden Pen. Okay. Uh, what, 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 what does it mean? What is the Golden Pen? Like, is it everything you touch turns to gold? What does I, it mean? I guess so. Well, I guess so. Because... <laughs> I love it. I love it. I see, um, see y'all Golden Pen, Golden Pen. Because um, over the summer, I had um, been involved in so, like multiple projects. Mm -hmm. And um, we got, we all got some really good news. Well, I, I won't be uh, cryptic about it. I, I'll just, I'll say it. Um, um, of course, last year, the Clark Sisters released an album. Mm -hmm. um, and I wrote on that one. I wrote You Shall Receive with my cousin, Kiara. Yes, yes. Um, and Jay Brooks. Mm -hmm. Three of us wrote that. Then they did a remix album later on in the summer after that i um wrote four songs on mr talk box's album mr talk box the the king of the talk box the what the, oh i did he released the multi-genre album this um over the um when the beginning of the fall like mm -hmm. September. and uh i wrote four songs on there two uh two secular two gospel for that record Come on and, here. Come on here. Come on. <laughs> um, the name came from um the fact that some of them, without me telling them which songs I wrote, knew which ones they were. And it it really came from the fact that 
Mr. Talkbox went live with us one night and okay. he shared with everybody that he was going to uh, release two of the songs that I wrote for him were going to be the um, on the R and B radio and the other going on gospel radio. So he let us know that night, and then everybody started calling me Golden Pen. So touch your neighbor and say you got placement. I got placements. Then right after that, I I uh, wrote on a a record by um, this amazing guitar player named Corey Wong. If you never okay. heard of Corey, is super super dope. Okay. Um, real funny dude too. He's real silly. Like if you follow him, he's got his own little talk show that he does, and he's. Uh -huh. super really really funny but i wrote a song just at the last minute they were like oh can you write to this real quick i need like they called me on a thursday and i was like i need it by saturday and yeah. i was like okay like i hope you like it and then <laughs> and, and he he did so it, yeah. that came out so it's just um it, that's where the name came from that's when they started calling it well you need to receive this because i see in your face you you so best you so bad. You need to receive this golden pen, girl. It's on you. It's on you. And it's okay. I think you still have to walk in the spirit of, 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 of meekness, you know, of course, because the gift, we are, we know who the gift comes from, but, mm -hmm. but it's on you. Um, it was uh, calling well, me on. I'm on. I'm on. Real talk. Oh, so I, I, was, I want you to always be encouraged uh, about this golden pen. Tell me quickly, before we get into relationship, and if you guys have any questions, me and Angel, Angel, I need your help. I'm, I want to bless somebody with a cash out. I just want to. So who, whoever is commenting the most or, you know, who has been very active. And so, guys, because it's just going to be one person this, this Saturday, this one person, of course, uh, you got to stick around because I try to do this every time I come on uh, because we're in the season of it. We can just help somebody. That man. I'm telling Listen. you, right? Just some lunch. Put some gas in your car. So, hey, if, if I find out you took my money down there to the to the malt liquor store. <laughs> oh no. Out, you went down oh, there no. on seven now and something, something. Need to. They need they need somebody to cash up them for the swear jar. I have we have a swear jar going. Okay. We have for, we because we were watching our mouth. That's oh yeah, for sure. For sure. We have to watch it. Now he that for um every cuss word that you use, you have to pay a dollar to the swear jar. Oh and people running out of money. See? So they need somebody to to cash app them so they can go ahead and keep on you, you talking about the techies? The techies? Yeah. Okay, yeah. the techies, y'all y'all better open your mouth and be seen. Y'all yeah. better be seen because some <laughs> of y'all like to slip a little word sometimes. Right. Yeah. Your, your tongue gets if you got the dollar, go ahead and say it. Listen, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not in that because I probably would have paid your whole next project off. They've been, uh, but you know, it's not that bad. I just think that we live we live in a time where um, sometimes the world, you know, Angel is switching up on us before our eyes. To be honest, the world is switching up. Of course, the pandemic, but if you really watch spiritually and naturally, things are shifting. Yeah. Things are shifting. And so let's, we, 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 we're laughing about that, but a lot of people are learning, Angel, how to handle and how to maneuver, like keeping stress free. Mm. Ex like it's a lot that we have to kind of consider now, right? Yeah. Yes, we, it is. It's a lot we have because people are, people are having to live with themselves and it's driving them crazy. <laughs> it really is. It is driving them crazy. It is making people sick. And it's like, you are seeing what we've been dealing with for the past however many years we done had to deal with you. But <laughs> <laughs> people are driving themselves crazy. And it's it's really, it, it really shows. It's really yeah. showing. And um, I, what I found, this pandemic really brought me so just speaking for myself, it really brought me closer to God because mm -hmm. it in those moments where it's like, dang, I can't go nowhere. I can't, I don't have another outlet. I don't have an outlet. 
All I'm doing is sitting in here and eating. I'm not, you know, I'm not even showering consistently no more. Like, what right, is, right. I, you know, so I, I really had to start talking to God, like, listen, do something. Yeah. Do something, because this is really, this yeah. is not going to work the way it is. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. it's not going to work the way it is, but I, and I, I thank God for answering and um, a manifestation of said prayer uh, has been the Techies Network, the, the, the Techies Network Foundation. And shout out to all of them. I love you guys so much. You know that I do. I love y'all. And thank y'all for showing up today. Oh, baby, they in the building. They are here. They are in the building. Real talk, y'all in the building too. Listen, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't you know, we remember y'all. Angel, wave at my Real Talk fan. Just wave at my Hey, fan. Real they'll, Talk family. They'll be so happy. They'll be so happy that you waved at them. But listen, families, families are merging. Angel, let me drop another bomb. Angel, uh, prayerfully, um, of course, we're still planning for the IMATA conference in June uh, to happen. And of course, I'm trying to get my girl down there to the IMATA conference. What is the IMATA conference? Quickly, it's any creative thing that God has given you from acting, singing. I have politician friends. Of course, my father's in politics. Mm -hmm. But uh, young people my age, 30, 30 something years old, who are in politics, please come. Um, business owners, whatever the creative gift that God has given you. This is a weekend where iron shop is iron. We're going to have church at night now. We're going to church. We're going to have a good concert. But of course, during the day, it's it's that connection. So if you come to I Matter and you was you didn't make your connections, and nobody's fault. Right. If nobody's fault. Handy, yo, if you left it behind, then that means you, was, you, you didn't come open. You didn't wow. Come I tell them, I, let me share something real good and we're going to move on to relationship and then we're going to talk about the techie and then I know okay. I got to let you go. I'm, 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 you're watching Real Talk. And then if you have any questions, we're getting ready. Do you, are you okay if I do cool questions from the question q &A? Whatever you want. Okay, okay. Ooh, listen, this, this is how you know she loves me. Schedule for me. I am here for you, okay? Oh, <laughs> this is how you know she loves me. Angel said I cleared everything for Let's you. And I have it. a question to ask you too uh, because... <laughs> You know, I can't, you can't go nowhere without a Clark sisters question. Lord have mercy. So, Come on. <laughs> so I got to ask that. I got to ask that. But quickly, um, I'm at a conference. Oh, but what I was going to say is when you come, I'm trying to let people know if the, the principle of sowing and, and reaping, right? Mm -hmm. So if I go to a networking conference or a networking gig or whatever the case may be, and I see vendors, I see whatever, and I pass by all the vendors never sewing, never buying, never exchanging. But my main goal is just to get them to sew into what I have or get them to support what I have. But they see me visually mm -hmm. never sewing into what they have. What do you think the conception of you is to them? Like, what do you think the mindset, like, the, the, like we have to get into a place where if I'm going to show myself friendly, I really have to show myself friendly with the sewing and then I have to, if, if it's not so much financially, I have to just show myself friendly with support, showing up, all mm -hmm. that stuff. It has to be an exchange. It has to be. Otherwise, you're a leech. And you just took the word out of my mouth. I tried not to say that. <laughs> you cuss. Give me a dollar. I did nope. not. That's not, that's not, that's not Baby, a call her what it is. A leech. It's a leech. Uh, it is a leech. And uh, unfortunately, we have to burn those off. Sorry, you have to get those out of here. But no, if you if you are going to support, that is, and it's so much easier to support people now than it was back when we were coming up. We we don't need to form a street team that pass out flyers no more. You just post it on your social media. You share it. You repost. You you know you you tell somebody else if you ain't got it if i don't have the money to i can find somebody who got money and go can go and spend them and go go buy a t-shirt you right. know go just go look through their stuff and yeah. and now because with the the way analytics are they just want to see who's trafficking through who came and looked at the stuff that's all we want to do just go and look just show some kind of movement Let's the, just move the move the needle just a little bit. I'm you listen, know? Angel. You are putting you are putting us on game. Analytics. They they want to see if people are even watching. Like they want to see. Investors want to see how many people are coming to see you. 
they want to know what they're putting their money into. I mean, that's how that's how I figured out. That's really how the even on Instagram when you get verified, when you get your blue check. They're looking at how many people are coming to your page every day. How many people are you really as popular as you think you are? Or, you know, this that that purchase of followers, did that blow your head? Did that gas your head up a little bit? You know what I mean? So it's it's like it's not about how many followers you have, really. It's about how many people are coming to see you. Listen. And that's what they want to see. I want to see what I'm putting my investment into. Is it is this fertile ground? Yeah. You know, that's what investors want to see. So in order for us to show that, then we what we have to do is us as people who are trying to get there, yeah. we support each other. Got we to. Need to jump on each other's lives. We need to send some hearts. We need to make sure that we leave a comment. You know, like, comment, and share. That's all everybody say. Like, comment, and share. And that's free. And it's so that's important. Part. And it is. It's very important. It's very important. Everything has turned into a popularity contest. And I mean, unfortunately, you know, and, and even in that, you can still maneuver. You can still maneuver with your talent. And I think people who are talented get discouraged because you see people who are less than able than you are getting a little bit more attention. But if you would just like you said show yourself friendly yeah. you know, don't be so don't be out here working so hard that you can't support somebody else come on and i i commend um i i always have to bring up even in that mr talkbox he's this huge dude like he's a big deal in the yeah. Yeah. and he shows up to our little techie talks and he'll come in and he'll say hi he got like little old us we're not even doing nothing you know we're oh, not wow. that, that big yet he showed up to our launch and he did he played his little talk with a little talk box for us you wow. know he made sure that he poured out onto us yeah. you know he was so happy he was so pleased with the work that i had done for him but he did not leave it at you did something for me and I'm about to take it and keep going. No, yeah, I'm going to give you your credit. No, he has had me in interviews. I'm, I'm like, I've never been this involved in an artist before. Like, wow. You know, in interviews, he's been, every time he sees me, he's like, oh no, we got to, y'all need to, y'all need to go, go get her, go yeah. get her. You know, he, he will gas you up. And I like, yeah. I, I take, I try to take after that kind of attitude because at the end of the day, that's the only way we're going to make it is if we all support each other. Yes. I, can't, I can't just come and look at people buying your stuff and just let you see me sit, standing there. I need to come get in the line as well and give you some of what I got. You got to. You got. Listen, if you did not, I'm giving you free permission from the owner of Real Talk. If you did not screen record what just happened, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. I mean, of course, you can still catch it on YouTube and you can catch the show. But somebody should have because you this burning off this support. We have been dropping some hashtags. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? We have been dropping some hashtags. Listen, I got a question. I can talk to Angel all day. I got one question. Mm -hmm. Here we go. What has been your favorite moment with the techies thus far? Oh my god. First of all, they they keep me cracking up. I'm always laughing with them. My favorite but my favorite my favorite moment was probably um getting ready for launch day. Okay. And what they did was they got a bunch of techies to make videos of what the techies has been to us to them what is, what does being a techie mean what does it mean to you how has it helped you and um we have only been work we started this this network in july see that's what i was going to ask you how long has this been established and we go have, ahead, let's go ahead and get into it so now we are come to the part of the show where it's the techie takeover for real for real on real talk with your boy nolan brook i got to know how long it's been established what is techie what so give it to us angel give it to we us we started in july 
and um the the end of July, you know, we, and um so okay, so to answer your question, the Techies Network Foundation is a youth, a youth and young adult outreach and enrichment program. Wow. Um, we are a foundation now. We are officially the Techies Network Foundation Incorporated. We are so <laughs> new name. Who this? It's like so, it's so, <laughs> so dope. But um, we are currently um, in. We are our mm, our nonprofit status. Take your time, daughter. Take it. Pending. <laughs> we're uh, so we're trying to we're, we're trying to become a nonprofit. That's oh, okay. Awesome. Doing. So um, our status is currently pending. We still got some things we got to do with the IRS but we right. are still we are, we on our way we still we're still running things the way we intend to later on once we get that down but we are the Techies Network Foundation it is an outreach and enrichment program and basically what we wanted to do what I wanted to do with this was to provide provide information to young people that is either not taught in school or mm -hmm. not readily available. Whoa. That's what I wanted. It's either it's something that you didn't learn already. And, mm -hmm. and one of the biggest things was our education. Our education system here is so warped. It's so warped. And it's like you are never really prepared for college in school when you're in high school they just kind of are you 18 now you can sign your own documents go ahead and do what you got to do you Angel, know? could i share a fun fact with you i'm sorry to yeah, interrupt. Sure. yeah if i did not have of course my sister uh is a businesswoman like you you met her we was in toledo at the dorinda um um singers and musician conference that was when i sung and that was like 10 years ago maybe mm -hmm. but you met her i mean y'all met one time but of course uh, she's a gymnast. Uh, she has her own gymnastics facility now, the only African-American gymnastics facility in Indiana and probably in Illinois, because um, there's no African-American women own, don't own, you know, gymnastics facilities like that. Yeah. Um, yeah so anyway, make a long story short. Um, if it were not for my sister being older than me and going first, my school didn't even prepare me to even know what FAFSA was. Yeah. Oh, we have FAFSA classes where we show, we walk you through how to fill out your FAFSA form. This is needed, Angel. Like, and I was like, is it because I was just like laughing in school? Like you didn't, you didn't want to pull me in or like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, we, we actually have those, uh, we provide that where we, we kind of have like a Zoom, we get a big Zoom and we go, okay, this is what you need to do. This is what your um, screen looks like. This is how you fill it out. This is what yeah, we we are we. This is what we want you to be ready for. And I like I say to them, I'm like I didn't finish college, but that doesn't mean I don't want you to. Right, for sure. So you know, we are as far as education, we assist with transition school transitions from elementary to middle, middle to high school, high school through college. Dope. So Dope. we. Have basically a little college readiness program that we uh, kind of put together. We do study tables. So we have tutoring programs. So it's like we, we, we do a lot with, and that's just the educate key. <laughs> we have, so wow. there, are, there are eight. So we have educate, we have mentorship, we have um, kingdom life. Are y'all counting with us? We, 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 have, we have kingdom life. We have our mind, body, and soul, which is our wellness key. Oh, that's that's mental and physical health. Sign me up for some of them. Go ahead. <laughs> we have um, mentorship. Did I say mentorship already? No, I didn't. <laughs> mentorship. We have our valor key, which is for our men. And we, we have our um, international key. Because we have our, we have uh, a few members that don't.